Hey guys, Hugh McCorn here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing how to trade properly. Um, and what I mean by that is how to avoid scamming, um, how to know if someone's planning to scam you, some sneaky tactics on to getting the prices higher and getting more profit of what you're actually selling. Um, and also the price, the normal price that things should be sold for. And if someone's selling, let's do an example, let's say for a dodo bloody bloody 100 element or something like that then um, obviously it's a pretty common one you all probably know not to go for that but still there's some people that will probably fall for that and um, I'm gonna be explaining how it works and everything and yeah now before we get into the video I thought I may as well mention this um, I did a video yesterday on just meshing and how to avoid it and how to well how to um, defend from it and that and how it works because it is quite important that everyone knows um, now I did do some content from another youtuber and I put it in the background obviously he wasn't happy about that now let me just explain this briefly and um, I've done this multiple times and I've you know put their video link in the description because they've emailed me or even I guess you don't even need to email me you can just do it in the comments and um, just like um, please can you put my video in the description or shout me out in the description then I'll do that and which I did I did that um, and I've even had that on Instagram before I think I've done like stories or something like that because apparently you can get claimed on stories now which is weird but yeah and um, so that happens and if you click on the video now you won't be able to see it which is a, bit, a little, little bit um, annoying it pissed me off a bit but hey it's what it is what it is um, so yeah if you don't if you want me to even like take it down completely if you don't want that section of the video played then I will remove it you just got to make it clear to me that you want me to remove it um, so yeah um, so there's not much else to say about that to be honest I don't really care copyright claims aren't new to me I've had channels in the past and yeah doesn't really matter um, so yeah, I um, wanted to address that and let's get stra straight into the video. So first the thing, how it works. Now, usually you agree to meet up someplace. I think that's m mostly what people do. Usually it's OBS or pe popular locations, let's say Ice Cave and Ragnarok. That's um, normally where I go to trade. Um, so they'll go there and then you'll give them re return for something else. Let's say you won a thousand cement and paste and they won, I don't know, a team. Um, and then you'll go there um, and then here's where the tricky bits gets because if you give them it and they run off, then that's obviously the risk. But for those things like that, I don't think that's really a problem. Now, let's say it's a bit more higher, like proper heavy trading. Um, let's say for example so let's say someone wants it for you know a thousand ingots a thousand one ingot per cement and paste that's quite high but you know it I don't know this is just an example so let's say you're selling it for 2,000 ingots and then they say that's too high and then you get you drop it down to a thousand ingots and then they'll probably go for it because it seems like a much cheaper price than what you was gonna sell it for but you wasn't actually gonna sell it for 2000 and then you'll get actually more of what you originally would have got I'd say maybe 500 ingots that'll be enough for a thousand cement and paste or something like that um, and yeah that, that's a sneaky little bastard tactics that I've done before um, it's pretty funny actually um, you can get quite a lot of stuff from doing this um, extra things as well um, I'm, I'm pretty sure all of you know that tactic and it's quite easy to look out for but you just gotta the way you do it is the way it works so you gotta look out for that um, so obviously pricing is very simple and you'll know which what's more higher than what's actually it's meant to be for now moving on to the scamming side of things now what I talked about earlier is the obelisk if someone says they've got it in upload you want to tell them to get it out of upload first otherwise it will be a lot more risky and here's why if they tell you to give the stuff first then obviously it's in upload they can just upload it or something like that and then let's say you give it them they pick it up they pretend they're getting it from upload but they actually just put the stuff you gave them in upload I know there's like a 
timer, but most unofficial servers don't even have a timer, so that's one risky thing you've got to look out for. And I, I know I've been done for that loads. Um, another thing to look out for, they've got way too many people. Let's say they've got like three or four people, or even let's say two people from, and you've got one. And that's the sign if they're on something like a griffin or a poison wyvern or something like that, something that can kill you very easily and you're on like a PC or something, then that's a big sign. You want to just dip out of there straight away. And I know not always they kill you. Obviously, it's just for security so you don't, that they know you're not trying to scam them. But yeah, it's just a big sign and you want to just be careful of it. And like I said before, you want at least a couple people with you as well, just to make sure they're not going to scam you. Um, also, let's say you have a mic, I think this is a pretty big one. Um, if you've both got mics, it's important that you talk to each other as well. Um, but you can also do it in chat. I don't, you know, you can do whatever you want with that one, but it's a lot more safer on the mic. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much on how to avoid it. And if they, you do get scammed, you've just got to get to them as soon as possible. If they get in the base, lock it away, you're screwed or in upload, like I said. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed and like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And like I said at the start, copyright claims. But yeah, let's say you want me to remove it, then um, yeah, I'll do that. Just make it clear that you want me to remove it. Don't just copyright strike me out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed, like I said, see you in the next one, and yeah.